I guess the obvious question is just the news again to come back and play another year. How big was it receiving that news? Um, it was great news. Um, I had to wait for a little bit, um, just kind of anxious, a lot of anxiety built up just with my family. But um, just kept the main thing, the main thing, kind of kept praying and kept talking to my family and my coaches, just you know, staying ready, whether it be get ready for the league and get ready for next year's combine or get ready for next season. Uh, I was ready for either or. How tough was it last year when you got the injury? I know you tried to play through it, tried to power through it. How tough was that? And when did, what was the deciding factor when you said, okay, let's just pull the plug on this year? Um, well, it was, it was really about the eligibility thing. Um, I, I didn't really understand uh, what was, what were, what was the, you know, the steps to take. So, um, in my mindset, I just I uh, had to play because I, I didn't think I had another year. And, you know, playing on my right ACL, I mean, it was nothing. I just put myself in that mindset let my team know that I'm here, you know, and I'm a, if I can go, I'm going to go. What play did it? Right? Well, when did you do it? Do you remember the specific play action? Uh, it, I, it was uh, just like a kind of like a reach block and I uh, foot slipped in the turf and, you know, just friction, you know, and it's kind of just one of those unfortunate injuries just – almost a non-contact injury so uh it was, it was i kind of knew right then but um i tried to just you know play through it when not when you apply for that waiver what's what's that process like like do you hear anything through like the months that you're waiting for it or do they give you any sort of feedback um there's little feedback but that's why there was a lot of um just anxiety there was a lot of gray area just i just didn't know you know and i've never been through that um situation before i kind of leaned on um, you know, uh, Caleb Kelly just being in the in here, um, um, Curtis Lofton, you know, I talked to uh, Coach Venables, and, you know, those that's just different, you know, outlooks and different perspectives of, you know, how I should take my situation based on who they know I am and based on, you know, what, what my options are. So um, it's kind of hard a lot just because I'm not doing and I do have to wait. But, again, just with Coach Smitty, just staying ready, uh, making sure my weight is right, making sure, you know, I stay active and stay, make sure I stay in the training room two and three times a day. So, I mean, just with the guys around and everybody around this program, just to help me out and just keep me, you know, level headed and keep me straight on to what I need to do is, is do you, probably kind of keep me straight. Do you ever look back down the, just the journey you've had here at Oklahoma has been pretty incredible with the different things that have come up and how you've been able to overcome. You're able, able to look back and just re reflect on how this journey's been? Um, I do a lot. I mean, that's that's why, you know, practice, like Coach, he tells me, like, I'm a relentless practice player, and that's why it shows on the field. You know, I'm always thinking about that. Cause I'm like, you know, unfortunately, I've had two injuries, and, you know, who would have thought it would be me? I mean, I'm, I'm very big on, you know, my taking care of my body and stuff, so just I would have never thought. But that's all about preparation. You know, you, you've got things that, you know, you can do and you can't do now. So it just – you know, adapting and making it work for yourself. It's, just, it's, it's unfortunate, but, you know, I come out here every day, even if it's coaching the younger guys and just being relentless because I know I would, I would want to be coached like that to get the best outcome of, like, um, my potential.